The 49ers brand new starting center is in the building. Welcome to San Francisco, Weston Richburg, man. Congratulations on, on your new deal. Thank you, appreciate it. How have the last 24 hours been? I mean, John Lynch said for the last couple of months, he wants San Francisco to be a destination for free agents. Guys want to come here and join what's happening, what's building here with the 49ers. Did you feel that way and why did you ultimately decide to sign here? Yeah, I think this is a place that, that players want to be. You know, the fact that I get to call this place my home is is, uh, is amazing. The scheme, the people, uh, management, ownership uh, is all is all fantastic and, and something that I'm really excited about. Now this quote came out yesterday saying that this moment means so much to you. Uh, it's almost up there with getting married. Uh, I don't know who you told that to or if it's true. But did you go from like cloud nine to the doghouse with your wife immediately? <laughs> well, I think I said marriage was better. I hope I said that because obviously it is. Obviously. Um, but man, yeah, I'm getting to do something that not a lot of people get to do. Um, and, and so that, that holds a special place in, in, in my life so far. And um, just the fact that I can say that I just signed with the 49ers is, is, is pretty cool. What do you want 49ers fans to know about your game? I want them to know that uh, you know I have a little nasty streak. Uh, I like to get after people, and um, you know I, I really the center position. You know my probably my favorite thing about it is not only the leadership role aspect of it, but also the cerebral part of it. You know I enjoy kind of the X's and O's, being able to work with a quarterback and kind of direct direct everything and get everybody on the same page. You mentioned Jimmy. You're going to be closer to him than anybody else in the uh, in the locker room. And so are you looking forward to working with him? Have you, met, have you met him before? Have you had a chance to watch his game a little bit? Obviously, what he did down the stretch, winning five straight games, kind of igniting this team. Now you're going to be working with him uh, up close and personal. Yeah, I think I met him uh, several years back at the Senior Bowl when we were both there. Um, but, you know, I've seen him from, from a distance, seen him from afar, you know, the success he's had. You know, he's learned under uh, arguably the best quarterback ever. Um, so, you know, it's, it's exciting to see, you know, him come in and win those games at the end. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to working with him, you know, kind of picking his brain, you know, what he's learned from his experiences and, you know, kind of be able to share some of my things and hopefully build a great bond between us. You've worked with the future Hall of Famer for a number of years, Eli Manning. And so what makes a great center quarterback pairing? What goes into that relationship? Uh, I, I think you've got to be both both uh, invested in the deal. You know, you gotta you got to put the time in in the, in the film room. Um, because we're basically the two guys that are starting the whole process of getting getting the offense rolling. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't been around Jimmy in a building, but I guarantee he watches film more than anybody. Um, that's that's how Eli was. You know, that's how I tried to be. So, um, you know, we got to be invested, got to understand that, that we're two crucial pieces uh, of, a, of a whole unit. And, um, you know, to go where we want to go, we're going to have to do things uh, that, that some people aren't doing. Wes, and like John said, you had a number of options. Uh, and we're happy you chose this one. Welcome San Francisco and congratulations again. Thank you, appreciate it.